It's 1.50 in the morning. Leo woke up early. Hopefully he goes back to bed. Um, just pumped. And I want to wake up early tomorrow to work out. Hopefully. <laughs> if that happens. Okay, let's see if he goes back to bed. Okay, last night was not what I would consider a good night. I did not get to work out this morning because... I wanted to catch up on sleep and prioritize rest, but I do have a little bit of time before I get Leo up, so I am going to stretch a little bit. Okay, it's almost time to wake Leo up. It's actually a little bit past, but I want to let him sleep a little more because he stood up for an hour at like 1.30 to 2.30. Didn't want to go back to bed. And then from 5.30, he stood up till 7.30 and didn't want to go back to bed. I think I'm sleep a little bit more, but I don't want to let him sleep too long because it'll kind of ruin his whole schedule. So right now I am pumping and we're also feeding him formula because I can't keep up <laughs> with the milk production with how much he eats. Plus, I think I actually started to slow down a little bit because I started my period after six months of breastfeeding and not having my period on New Year's Day. So, great way to start the new year. But he seems to be doing fine with the formula. I was really worried that he wasn't gonna like it. Now I pump probably every four hours, either feed him or pump every four hours. So I'm at a happy medium right now. Okay, let's go wake him up. Welcome to a day in the life with a baby. Um, so I thought about doing this during the newborn stage and it was just way too stressful to film and raise a baby and figure everything out. And I just thought, you know, I'm just gonna soak it all in. And um, now I feel like I'm at a better but so Leo is six months now. It's almost seven and I thought it'd be a really nice time for me to do this video at the halfway point to a year. <laughs> I've been, yeah, a mommy for half a year now. I feel like I've got my bearings and learned a lot with this little one already, but we'll get our day started at 8.30. I'll feed him a bottle or the boob, depending on if he wakes up um, at 5.30. I thought um, it would be really nice to show you all out there who are thinking about having kids or if you have kids a baby of your own and you're struggling and you just you know want to see someone else kind of going through it <laughs> yeah and yeah I thought it would be fun just to show an actual day in my life of you know what my life is actually like being a mommy it was a huge change <laughs> I remember Everyone would tell me, you know, your life is gonna completely change when you have a kid. I thought, you know, it'll change. I'll still have a little bit of time to get work done. And boy, was I wrong. <laughs> uh, most of my time is spent raising Leo and Mario, my husband, also, we both work from home. So, and we have really flexible schedules, which has been amazing. But um, my mom will come and help two days out of the week to watch him so I could actually get work done because when I say that I work from home with him, it's literally during his nap times, I'll try to get work done and also try to survive as in like showering, taking care of myself, working out, all of that. So yeah, if I didn't have my mom coming twice a week, there's no way I would be able to get anything done. Good job, buddy. All done. Let's give you a burp. Oh, you're gonna fart. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, of course, gotta start off with a fresh diaper. So, normally, hubby and I will divide and conquer. So, while I feed him in the mornings and do his little morning routine, get him dressed for the day, change his diaper. Um, he's starting breakfast. Yeah, baby. Just give you one more wipe. It's 
been a while since I've done a video on, you know, mommyhood. <laughs> um, I've been so just really in it and enjoying it. Um, but let me know if you all are interested in like a favorite products, newborn essentials or baby essential video. I'm totally down to do it. Or even just like my favorite products that I've been using so far. Um, I'm open for it. I'm down. I'm down to make some more mommy content now that I kind of, you know, <laughs> feel like I'm a... I know, I know. Now that I feel like I have kind of have things down, it's not super stressful. All right, baby. Let's get your clothes. Okay, we got Leo right here in his high chair with some toys to distract him. I'm gonna prep some of the food. So yeah, we've been trying to meal prep uh, both for us and Leo. It's been really helpful. We've been doing pretty decent in the mornings <laughs> with breakfast. So just having some food prepared for him especially makes things a lot easier. So we just have some steamed broccoli. Um, we bought like a little baby steamer that steams it. It also purees the food. Um, so it's been super helpful. We have some peanut butter puree for him um, since we're introducing him to peanut butter. But yeah, I think breakfast is pretty much done. Okay, here's Leah's breakfast. We have a little bit of applesauce and some peanut butter puree, broccoli, and a bombita made of sweet potatoes, chicken, broccoli, and some oats. I love using this little... Hazmat soup. We call it a hazmat soup, but it's actually <laughs> a, a bib, so he doesn't get his arms dirty because it gets kind of messy. All right, baby, you ready? Here you go. Mmm. Oh. Likes this one much. He slants a spoon. So we started him on solids. I think it was like two weeks before he was six months. He could sit in the high chair, but he still was kind of slouching over. I'm sitting really good now. Before he actually started grabbing the spoon like right away, which has been really nice because we've been doing a combination of the baby lead weaning and the spoon feeding because I get freaked out. <laughs> purely baby led weaning when they grab it. Um, his first thing that he ate was a banana. He took a bite out of it and there was this big old chunk of banana in his mouth. We had to kind of like scoop it out. I'm a little bit paranoid about choking, which I think is a good thing, but it's been really nice to have them be able to sit at the table with us. So even though it's a little bit messier than us just spoon feeding him, it's been really fun. <laughs> It's been really fun to see him <laughs> progress and try different foods and have control of like what goes into his mouth. And we've also been teaching him sign. So we've been teaching him baby sign language for more. We've been nodding yes. And we've been doing that throughout every everything Whoa. as much as we can. He knows the camera, so he's like looking at the camera. You're doing great. Huh? You love food. <laughs> It's about 10 o'clock, breakfast is done. Hubby is playing with Leo, doing some tummy time, and I am cleanup crew today. So we'll be cleaning this kitchen behind us. <laughs> impression. Bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Time for another bottle before nap time. We're gonna do four ounces. So hopefully get him to sleep for an hour and a half. My dad is giving him a fresh diaper and I'm all ready to feed him. So before I would breastfeed him every single time for a feeding, but I wanna make sure that he's getting enough food in the day so he doesn't wake up at night and when i breastfeed i don't know 
how much he's actually getting. And since I'm not producing as much, like I feel like it's kind of all over the place. So I just want to make sure that he gets enough milk and he's not hungry. So it's just been kind of easier this way. I do miss breastfeeding. I really, obviously in the beginning it was really hard and it hurt a lot and it was just so draining but got to a point where it was easier and it didn't hurt anymore and i was really enjoying it i love the bond gonna miss it trying to take in these last bits of me being able to breastfeed him All right, it's now 11.30. He fell asleep really quickly. I was able to shower and I am down in the studio going to get some work done. Hopefully I have a solid hour to review some videos. He just woke up and I was just about to go upstairs and wake him up. He slept for almost an hour and a half. So I gotta go thaw his milk and let's go feed him. I have to pump. I feel very tender very tender so i'm gonna have to pump while hubby's feeding him so we can give him probiotics and then i can see how much milk i actually produce hi baby let's get you out of this mama's gonna change your diaper i've changed his diaper and i have my pump ready i use this manual pump because i did have the lv i believe it was called it's like an automatic one that you put in your bra but i feel like it didn't really pump me as well so this gets a lot of my milk out and then for the opposite side i have my haka for any fallout because i don't want to waste any <laughs> so hubby is feeding leo i usually come into my room and pump uh, eight minutes on each side and I'll just like edit a photo or watch TikTok or you know it's it's kind of like me time <laughs> okay a successful pumping session we have five ounces in my haka that wasn't all from downfall that was I poured it in because I wanted more space in this guy three more ounces so eight ounces total that is one meal for Leo all right so we're in the car we're about to go out we need to get Amaya some more dog food but we're also going to take her to a little dog cafe grab ourselves some coffee let leo look at the puppies so we have a full car with two babies amaya and leo and i normally sit in the back seat when we drive just because i am a little paranoid and i want to keep an eye on my baby and make sure everything's all right leo. oh your shoe fell uh oh god there's no other dogs to steal it yeah <laughs> it's only amaya today the song says company. <laughs> oh, this is so sad. Company. Got ourselves a little cup of coffee. Amaya has friends now. Another miniature schnauzer. Mochi. And this little guy. Stop and grab some lunch. <laughs> Got the goods. Got the goods. Okay, we're going to the dog store. Let's go. Come on, Amaya, let's go get your food. Okay, we just got home, it's 3.30. We just made it in time for Leo's nap. I was scared he was gonna fall asleep in the car only because we were like almost home and if he falls asleep in the car, we don't like him to sleep in the um, car seat. So we'll have to take him out and put him in his crib and sometimes he wakes up and doesn't go down for a full nap. So he naps again for another hour and a half, hopefully, we'll see. But yeah, that was his second wake window, which was three hours. So I think we had a pretty pretty nice little outing. It was perfect. We're gonna eat lunch and then maybe see if I can get some more work done before his last wake window. Hi. Happy dog. Happy dog. Okay, it's now 4.40, Leo is awake. He only slept for an hour, but I think that's okay because we could put him down to bed a little bit earlier. So I'm gonna feed him and then yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have playtime. This is Leo's last meal before he has a big eight ounce bottle for dinner for bed. I normally like to breastfeed him at this time just because then I don't have to pump until later at night. And he has an eight ounce bottle. So I know for a fact that he is going to sleep on a full tummy. I don't really just feed him until he's done. We start our last week window. 
I usually like to just sit here for a little bit after he's done eating, mm. get stuck in the moment. This little piggy went to the market. This little piggy stayed home. This little piggy had roast beef. And this little piggy had none. And this little piggy went wee 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 know how to roll over which he should have hit that milestone i think it was like some babies hit it between four and five so he's a little bit behind on that but he has all of his other gross motor skills which is really awesome like grabbing and like raking in toys look at this little buddy go good job leo you see him maya your doggy doggy says woof woof <laughs> <laughs> Amaya wants to play too. You can't get your dirty Grinch near my baby. Get your dirty Grinch away from my baby. Leo, you're doing so good at sitting, baby. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. I spoke too soon. <laughs> okay, so this is Leo's dinner. We're doing a little bit of sweet potato, and I also had prepped these. I had it in the freezer. It is mango, eggs, ground oatmeal. Then I have it in this little mold so it's easy for him to grab. You ready for some dinner? You want to start off with some water? There you go. So we're still slowly introducing foods to Leo. Um, oh, we um, were doing really good for a while, and then we kind of just got like used to the stuff that we were making. So. We have to venture out. We just started the peanut butter this week, so maybe next week we'll do like a different type of nut butter. It's crazy how if you don't give babies food by a certain age, they'll be more likely to develop that allergy. Crazy. I don't know how the body works. Wow. Bill always freaks me out how he puts like the whole thing to his mouth, and I don't know how much is in there, but the good thing is, is it's mushy, so there's nothing. Okay, there. You're literally shoving the whole thing in your mouth. All right. Gagging is good, yeah. Gotta slow down there, buddy. Can't shove the whole thing in your mouth like a spoon. You gotta actually swallow it and kind of mush it. Mmm, how's that taste? Yummy. It's now almost seven o'clock and tonight Leah's getting a bath. So his nighttime routine takes about an hour to do. We do a bath time. He gets one last feeding and then I read a book to him and then it's time for bed. So hubby and I usually do bath time together. I haven't really done it. I think I've only done it once by myself. Kind of a hard task to do alone. So we do it as a family and Mia loves bath time too. It's nice and relaxing. Oh. Oh my god. Toes. In between your toes. That's gonna get under your neck. Alright. Get that rolls. Okay, baby. All done. All done. Alright, this is the last bottle of the day. Leo just had his bath and we got him 
all lotioned up, moisturize him every night, and put his pajamas on. So now he's getting his last bottle, and then we're going to read a book. But I think this has been a great day so far, huh? I think the night routine is my favorite thing. I just love bath time. It's it kind of winds me down too, to be honest with you. So once Leo is asleep, hopefully he stays asleep. Um, normally we have a couple of hours to eat dinner and do whatever housework we need to do. And then we start our night routine, hubby and I, our night routine around 9, 9.30. Honestly, every day is different and we're learning as we go and just trying to enjoy it even though at times it might seem stressful and we don't have a lot of time to ourselves like we used to anymore. But I love spending time with this little guy and every day is so much fun and he's growing. It's just so rewarding to see him learn and grow and it's only been six months. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know, leave a like, leave a comment down below. Let me know if you wanna see more mommy and baby vlogs or videos because I honestly I just love making them <laughs> I don't want to like overshare like there's there's a line that I feel like is I'm kind of trying to balance but then also this is this is my life now this is literally what I do every single day minus you know the days that my mom comes and helps but this is this is this is my everything. This is my world and I love it. So thank you all so much for watching. We're going to finish off our night routine and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye. Sure.